Welcome or welcome back to Gita Lele Tutorials. Today, I am going to talk about time signatures. Till this point, what we have talked about is 4x4 time signatures. And we counted up to 4 and also the ants in between, right? But majorly we counted to 4, the bits we counted to 4. And how we did that? So for let's say only rounds from version, how we did that? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or all downs from versions or all beat downs from version how it went it went like this 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4, one, two, three, four. and the island island stump that also went with the 4 by 4 pattern right so down down up up down up down down up up down up 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 right so till this point what we counted is 4 by 4 now uh, there are some other patterns in music as well right so there are 3 by 2 2 by 2 2 by 4 5 by 4 6 by 8 7 by 8 and some more as well right 23 by 12 12 by 8 i read somewhere that uh, it's 23 by 12 and 12 by 8 are also some patterns but you, yeah we are not going there so these are compound patterns and uh, how you work your way up and how to play those things those will be part of music theory and the better way to deal with these things is when you encounter just deal with them at that point of time uh, i mean don't think too much about that right now music starts with rhythm so everything that's related to music is strongly related to rhythm for example singing playing an instrument dancing all are related to rhythm right by the way if you also feel related to this lesson let me know in the comments anyways coming back to the topic so right everything that's related to music is related to rhythm and the way we perceive rhythm is through tapping our foot right or maybe counting the beats 4 by 4 is a pretty common time signature in music the other two common time signatures are 3 by 4 and 6 by 8 and we'll look about them and we'll also look about some strumming patterns that uses that's in the uh, 3 by 4 and 6 by 8 time signature so if you encounter some songs that uses this 3 by 4 and 6 by 8 time signature you can use those uh, patterns how we counted 4 by 4 was this right so we are tapping our foot and we are counting to 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and where the numbers are the down strums and the ends are the up strums, right? So that's how we uh, till now have worked with our way up right and we come up with uh, different strumming patterns like down strums or uh, four bit down strums island strums and we also played the strumming game similar way similar way now we are going to count to count for three by four and six by eight time signatures for three by four we are going to count up to three so basically it will be one two three one two three one two three one two three okay and for 6 by 8, the counting will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that's how 3 by 4 and 6 by 8 time signatures goes. 3 by 4 and 6 by 8 are pretty similar in terms of practically playing on guitar lele. Only change would be there is that we are going to accent the only the first bit of the um, 3 by 4 pattern so it will be 1 2 3 1 2 3 so there will be some emphasis on the first bit for 6 by 8 it will be emphasized only on the first bit and the fourth bit so that will now be 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay that kind of stuff by the way we, are, we can also emphasize the first bit of the uh, 4 by 4 patterns as well. So we can write till now we played like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But you can also do like this, right? 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So some emphasis on the first bit. You can you can give that. You can accent your four by four patterns as well. But yeah, this accenting and all are pretty swing kind of stuff that comes with the three by four and the six by eight feeling, right? Uh, so that's how we count the three by four patterns, and that's how we count the six by eight patterns. Now uh, we can also add the ends into in between the counting and we can also use strums for that and that will be one and two and three and or one and two and three and four and five and six and these are the countings that you can follow while you want to count along the three by four pattern songs or six by eight pattern songs so there are great songs uh, that are there in the three by four and uh, uh, six by eight patterns like um, a very popular one is uh, happy birthday right so it has a three by four pattern row 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 your boat these are children's songs maybe and yeah metallica from metallica uh, that that song nothing else matters and the song from lincoln park from the inside that's mostly in uh, three by four or six by eight patterns so Check that out. Mostly that's from the inside is I think maybe I'm not sure, but maybe it's three by four or six by eight. Check those out. Uh, so those are pretty, uh, pretty song, pretty known songs that are in three by four or six by eight patterns. For Indian territory or Bollywood territory, uh, so there is one song from the movie Parinita, uh, Piu Bole, Pia Bole. So that's in three by four or six by eight pattern. That's six by eight pattern. For Bengali, we have a uh, Tegor song, Purano Seidi Ner Kotha. So that's 6 by 8 pattern, right? And most of the Bengali folk songs are in also uh, 6 by 8 or 3 by 4 pattern. Listen to the songs, feel the groove of that song and count them. In the next lesson, we are going to look at different strumming patterns that you can use for 3 by 4 and 6 by 8 time signatures.